Woo! Hey guys, it's John. <laughs> And today we're gonna to be reacting to some more ghost videos. This time from my boy Nuke. Nuke's top five has a couple of new videos and I'll be reacting to one of them. Uh, this one's called Top Five Ghost Videos So Scary, You'll Go Boom Boom. <laughs> Now, I don't know what it means to go boom boom, but uh, I guess we'll explode. That's probably the most optimistic uh, interpretation. Anyway, let's, uh, let's check it out. Hopefully I'm not gonna go boom boom. Okay, now before we get started, um, I normally like being in this corner of the video, but this is also where Nuke likes to put his watermark, which is, uh, I feel like it grows larger every time I see it. So I'm not gonna block the watermark, so I'll, I'll move to a different uh, corner. I feel like that's a, that's a fair compromise. Don't want anyone to think that I'm covering up the watermark because I just like being in that corner, but I'm willing to adjust. Anyway, let's uh, let's check this out. Dirt bike rider Ethan's TikTok is dedicated to videos of his biking trips into the sand dunes and woods of Oregon. Wait, what was this guy's name? Dirt bike rider Ethan's TikTok is dirt bike rider Ethan's TikTok. I thought his last name was Sticktok for a second, <laughs> and I was like, wow, he's he was destined for this platform. But it says here TikTok is Motoans. Dedicated to videos of his biking trips into the sand dunes and woods of Oregon. But one day when he's 15 miles out into the woods and completely alone, he experiences something that frightens him to his core. What's gonna happen to Ethan Stick Talk? Literal bones. Oh, wow. Not figurative bones, literal bones. Don't worry, the bones weren't uh, like an analogy or metaphor or anything. This is They're where most people would turn around. Real bones. You turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side. That's where all the gold is waiting over there. The gold. My man, Could you were not in the 19th century. what's on the other side. Hello? What happened to that adventurous spirit? Most people would turn around here, but not me. That's where the gold is. What, maybe the gold is yelling out for you, my friend. Ethan is shocked when he hears strange human-like sounds coming from the woods. He believes it's a voice saying, hey, and help. You'd be missing out what's on the other side. That's my favorite one. <laughs> my man needs to drink some water. But what about the help? So you hear somebody crying for help in the woods and you don't go see what's going on? Somebody could be in trouble. Why would, why would you immediately go to ghost with this one? Like, I mean, first of Hello? all, the audio is overlaid the video, the right? That seems to be quickly moving towards him. He decides to just get out of there and is even so spooked that he runs right off the path and almost ends up falling right down the hill. Ah, uh, what? Okay, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. we gotta Spooked see that again. That he runs right off the path. What, how, how did this even happen? Now, I'm not a big bike rider or anything. Don't know anything about motorcycles, but this seems like if you were gonna fake having a fall, it would be wise to slow down to like two miles an hour before just suddenly, oh, oh damn, I fell because I was so freaked out. So spooked that he runs right off the path. Like what even happened? You're not even off the path. You're on the path right now. Nuke's lying right now. He's saying this, he ran himself off the path. He's still on the path. And almost ends up falling right down the hill. Well, almost. When he posts the video to his TikTok page, he wonders if he might have had an encounter with a skinwalker or some kind of cryptid. Why would you immediately go to that explanation rather than it was somebody in the woods who needed help? I'm just saying there's a lot of sus things that don't add up here for Mr. Stick Talk. Okay, first of all, the bones. Wow, the bones just so happened to be right next to the part that was blocked off. And then our adventurous guy there, he's like, hey, we should go past this to get to the gold. And I'm not really sure what he meant by that. But then all it takes is somebody going, hey, in a parched voice and somebody yelling help and a little bit of, uh, of uh, a rustling 
happening. And then all of a sudden he's, oh no, careening off the path, but still staying on it. <laughs> and then, and then his explanation is it was a skinwalker. I, I think maybe there were just some people out there and you decided to run at the first sight, which isn't necessarily an unwise move. I just don't think that this is a ghost video. It's rumored that a strange creature wanders these woods. Oh, of course. But many of his viewers just shrug it off. They say that he probably just heard a bobcat or maybe even a peacock. I mean, I think it was a person. Actually, that could have been a cat. Now that I hear it a second time, that could have been a cat. Yeah. See, the, pro the problem with a lot of these videos is that they'll... Oh, I'm sorry, Nuke. I'm covering up your logo. I'm very sorry. Sir, please don't ice me. Um, the, the problem with a lot of these videos is that they'll overlay the caption. And then you can't help but hear what's being said as that word. Like, if it hadn't said help, I might have thought that the, the voice said, Ow! Ow! Yeah, see, now, that whether like it help. was just a bobcat or a peacock or not, many of Ethan's viewers want to see more. They ask Ethan over and over to return to that same spot in the woods to see what happens. He's not gonna. So finally, Ethan decides <gasps> to return, but he makes the very bad decision to return late in the day. Oh, no. Okay, now it's fake. Now it's fake. The second time you return to this place is at night. Now, as the sun is starting to set, as you might Why guess, would you do that? it did not go well. Oh, he's Something still alive, isn't that he? No one can explain. No one can explain this, guys. Are you ready? There's not a single possible explanation for what you're about to see. Bones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh, God. There's I like how the bones, bones are on the trail. It's Straight up. Car Wait, how did you spell carcass? Straight up carcass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. That could be a carcass, actually, all jokes aside. But I kind of can't see because you're, you're like, he's like barely giving us a chance to see it. He's just like, oh yeah, there's definitely a carcass there. Don't take, don't take too good a look, viewers. So what if it is a carcass? You're out in the woods, supposedly. Animals die out in the woods and they get eaten by other animals. It's totally normal. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. What tree? dark as hell in here. I'm probably gonna turn around soon. Did you pump in music of crickets to signal the setting of the sun here? Holy crap, dude. This chill going on forever. That's, that, that, that is not a naturally captured sound. That, that's pumped in. Did you hear the reverb on that thing? That thing has crazy reverb effects on it. That's not, that's not, you didn't capture that with your phone. It just got really quiet. Re uh, yeah, you ended cricket.mp3 right as, right as you pumped in scream.mp3. Come on, man. What, where? Oh God, we can't. Oh no, the bike's not starting. What will happen to our hero, Mr. Stick Talk? I can't. No, 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 no. Did you darken the footage? Yeah, that was my cue to go. That was my cue to leave. I didn't see anything. It's already so. getting dark when Ethan finds himself in a field and tries to decide which way to go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Nuke's got us covered. He's going to zoom in and circle it in red. Let's go. All of a sudden, it gets really quiet as even the crickets seem to stop chirping. Uh -huh. Suddenly, yeah. an ominous looking figure walks right out of the darkness. An ominous looking blur. Mr. Sticktalk's friend. Maybe Mr. Sticktalk's brother. There's Ethan Sticktalk, and then there's Brian Sticktalk. That's Brian over there. Terrified, Ethan gets out of there as quickly as he can. I'm so really... what do you think is going on here? Nothing, big fat nothing. <laughs> what do I think is going on here? The, the biggest evidence here for this being fake is the fact that he went back in the evening alone. That's like, if you really had a traumatic experience, I don't care how much gold is out there that Mr. Stick Talk is looking for. You're not going to go back, especially not at night, especially alone. 
And then the second biggest piece of evidence, uh, I think here is those, those audio files that were pumped in were just really obvious. The sound had a lot of reverb, cricket.mp3 died down immediately. I mean, that's something that you could easily do in an editing program. I just don't see that being real. I thought that the cricket sounded a little sus even before they died down. So it, they were just like, there was a little, they were a little too rhythmic for me. A lot of times when you hear actual crickets out in nature, and this may be difficult for some of you that uh, don't leave the house, but I'm here to tell you, uh, they don't typically sound like that. That sounds like a, what, like like a pristine audio file to me. Could this be what many believe to be a skinwalker? Wow, well, there's so or many skinwalkers out there. Is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I love you, Nuke. Everything everything is uh, is is unexplainable, and if it is, then it's a it's an elaborate hoax. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Andrew Smith regularly sets out to explore secluded tunnels and caves in the beautiful landscape of Arizona. On one of his trips, he finds an abandoned mining cave and decides to take a look inside. Now, why would you do this? Why would you go inside an abandoned mine? Those things are dangerous. There's probably a sign on the, on the front that's like, hey, don't go inside. We're not gonna come in and drag your body out after there's a cave-in. Your stupid ass going around hollering in the caves causing a, a cave-in. That's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. So don't go in there. There's probably a million of those signs that they just completely ignored here. And then surprise, when you go inside the abandoned mine, it's just kind of, you know, a deep dark tunnel. So. We got to find a way to make it more interesting. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh, I can't wait. I have literally heard that exact scream before. That is a sound effect. I've heard that exact one before. I mean, come on, guys. It's not that hard to just have your friend go in there and scream. Why you got to pump in scream.mp3? That, no. No, you know, okay. Did you hear that running sound effect? Did you hear how clean it sounded? It sounded like shoes on like tile or hardwood floor. Listen, listen to the difference between the running sound effect that they're using here and this guy's actual footsteps in the abandoned mine, okay? There's so much more noise because it's like, it's like a dirtier sound, right? That's because it's not being pumped in over the video. I'm not going to run. I want to find whatever is inside. What a brave guy. My gut is telling me to leave. Oh, well. I'm extremely deep inside now. I've heard that exact whispering sound effect before, too. Whisper.mp3. I can't tell you, like, what the what the name of the licensed file is, or maybe it's probably public domain. I've heard that whispering in, in indie horror games before. I've heard that exact whispering. Uh-huh. I don't even know if I know the way back! Was that, was that like a car seat? It's like a little car seat or something, right? You can't be that deep. You can't be that deep inside the abandoned mine then. Is that what that is? That looks like a car seat. He, he is, apparently he's extremely deep inside the abandoned mine. <laughs> you're, you're probably right by the entrance. This seems sketchy. What is it doing this deep? Yeah, it's because you're not that deep, bro. I could solve that mystery for us right now. I feel like something is hiding in there. I didn't hear anything. Do you hear it whispering to me? I, I, I did read what you were saying it was saying, but I did not hear that at all, actually. I mean, if it, it, this is exactly what I was saying earlier. It's it's another case of like they they pop the text up on screen and then you hear it, right? It's 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 a little trick. Andrew suddenly hears a scream, followed by the chilling sound of running footsteps somewhere deep 
within the cave. It wasn't that This isn't Andrew's first cave explorer, and he actually manages to keep calm and continue his trek through the tunnels. The running from deep within the cave was so deep that it was back at his house in his office on the computer in the editing program. But the sounds become increasingly more disturbing. Oh, look, he's Andrew's not certain about this. captures what sounds like several voices whispering to him. One of the voices even seems to say, we don't know who this is. I still don't hear it. Since we don't know the history of the abandoned mine or why it was abandoned in the first place, it leaves you to wonder just what happened there and what could be the source of all these spooky noises. But as to Welcome. whether- Welcome. I mean, if he's really that deep inside the abandoned mine, then why is the welcome sign there? Wouldn't that be towards the entrance? Something's not adding up. Oh boy, that was really, that was like really fake. The abandoned graveyard. Okay, here Paranormal we go. investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter. It's fake. It's, it's my it's my YouTuber slash TikToker rule. If there's ever a YouTuber or TikToker that's like, all right, show ghosts, that's uh, it's fake. This time at the allegedly haunted Vicksburg Cemetery in Renville County, Minnesota. I love that little drop in there, allegedly haunted. Nuke's trying to maintain some neutral ground here. It's allegedly haunted, but uh, you know, we're all skeptics here and we'll just see. The old graveyard is abandoned, overgrown, and hidden away deep in the Minnesota woods. In the right. 1870s, the cemetery was part of the thriving town of Vicksburg but the village is now nothing more than a ghost town, perhaps quite literally. Mm -hmm. Visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing and hearing supernatural activity, and locals warn tourists to stay away from the graveyard at night. Midwest Ghost Hunter, AKA Ian, soon finds out why. I can't wait. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Hope you don't mind. No, you hope Soul they do mind. Just... You hope they do mind. You're a ghost hunter. You hope they mind. You don't want them to just be like, sure, bro, come on in. And you, they, you don't capture anything. You drove all the way out here. You want to get some footage. You want them to mind. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. No, you're not. You're, what you're provoking. Happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. And when he asks whether the headstone has been vandalized, a quiet little voice seems to whisper, yeah. Wow, thank you for amplifying and enhancing the audio because I didn't hear anything earlier. It, just, it sounded like a sound effect. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm just here to visit, not trying to monetize your tragedy for my YouTube channel. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. Oh, she doesn't care about but that. That's okay. She doesn't care it's about worth that. worth it. She's like, I would love to have the feeling of mosquitoes eating me up. I would love to feel something, but instead I'm just a ghost. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. It's worth it for these sweet, sweet views. Whoa. I'm gonna need you to tell Thank me what you. you said. Oh my gosh. I heard that. Yeah. I heard you once again. Oh, the camera died. Wow, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. And this time a soft voice seems to answer, it's lonely here. That's a stretch. She's also not responding to me. <laughs> I asked your name. <laughs> I said, what's your name? Ian decides to explore more of the cemetery and when he reaches another gravestone, Something happens that he just can't explain. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, whoa, whoa! What the hell was that? I don't know, I didn't see anything. I just heard a sound effect. Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. I love the voiceover. I love the voiceover. Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Why do you sound so bored? It sounds like he doesn't even believe it himself. Like, suddenly, the fence started rattling. Did you just rattle this fence? What's your name? 
Commander, I could try to read your grave. <laughs> what does that say? Nanny? I don't Is I your can't name read that. Nanny? <gasps> Whoa. That means yes. Okay. Rattle once for yes, rattle twice for no. I take that as a yes. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. Could you say it once more? Dude, oh my God, I just heard you again. I just received an intelligent response <laughs> from what sounds like a ghostly little girl. <laughs> Dude, this voiceover is sending me. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I need to hear that again. What sounds like a ghostly little girl? YouTuber bot has received a ghostly message from a ghostly little girl. And now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Wow. Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five, and Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. Well, that's so sad. That's so sad that you're pretending to contact the girls that died at the age of five and six for your YouTube channel. Ian decides to take some pictures. What happens next is absolutely unnerving. Oh, Pose for no. the photo. Pose for the photo. Now don't tell me you photoshopped something in. Could you smile? God, this guy's taking the piss, dude. Nothing but respect. All right, I'm going to count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. Please, I want you to pose for the freaking photo. Let's try this again. And this time, I want to see you posing for the photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty little girls oh, staring my. into the camera from the gravesite. There appear to be two misty little girls. No, there don't. There, 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 there do not appear to be two misty little girls. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair, and dark beady eyes. You're reading a lot into this image right here. You're you're superimposing a lot of shit that I wouldn't think otherwise. Long hair, where? Where are you getting this long hair from? It looks like, it literally looks like you just took the, uh, the dodge tool in Photoshop or something and just brightened a couple areas. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. Oh. To Misty App. Oh, so the one that you didn't edit, they're not there. What a shock. Apparitions that look like little girls appear in one of Ian's pictures. I mean, that's such a, that, okay, first of all, this is such a stretch right here. Like, I don't even see anything. Like, like I, I maybe see a face here, sort of. Like, it almost looks like there's an ear, eye, eye, mouth, you know, chin. But I, this is like straight up nothing. And you're like, I see two little girls? No. Sitting right next to what he believes is their own gravestone. So you're telling me these girls have been just sitting there for like 150 years and uh, they're gonna pose for your ass <laughs> that just came up with a camera? Just looking at this, it genuinely looks to me like an overlaid image. I know I said earlier, you know, oh, it looks like you just went in with like the dodge tool or something, but it looks like it's just, it's an overlaid image because it's, it's an image, it, it's like the color, you can tell the color of, uh, the wired fence and to a certain extent even like the plants and stuff it's like a little bit grayer like if you look if you look at this plant right here and this plant right here like this this has a little more of the color drained out of it and it's like a little more gray so like where are these girls standing you know what i mean where are they supposed to be standing are they supposed to be standing in front of the plant behind the plant like this one right here like where are these that's what I'm not really getting, and this seems more to me like uh, like just a, a superimposed um, image. Because you're not only seeing the color change of like the background right here, where you can see you can clearly see the girls' faces, but you can also see the color of the fence and the and the plants changed, which seems to me like would be an effect of using Photoshop here. So that's my that's my takeaway from this. Not I probably took it a lot more seriously than it's meant to be taken, but. <laughs> This just seems like a pretty obvious Photoshop job to me. Nanny Bickle, who passed away. 
away at the age of five. No, she didn't. She didn't pass away at the age of five. It says here, birth 1862, death 1876. So she would be 14, according to you. What do you mean, passed away at the age of five? Is that why you, is that why you took it off so quick? Why lie? Why lie about that? Well, well, if, well, hang on. If Nancy's 14, then she's definitely not one of the two misty little girls that you had there. Actually, maybe this is like a typo. Maybe they meant to say 1872 instead of 1876. But then, well, even if that says 1872, then they're still not five. They're three and a half. And Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. At age seven? Well, no, she's not seven. According to what? What is with the what is with the dates and the ages not lining up? You're the one who put them on screen. No, she's not seven here. You're the one who's putting their ages on there. First of all, Nancy is fourteen according to the dates that you put up, right? Or thirteen? I'm not sure. And then you say that she's five, but even if I correct it for you, it's three and a half. And then Ida's not seven. She's not even six. She's five. So I don't know. Why Why did they not match up? It's just such a weird little detail to get wrong. It's the sort of detail that you might get wrong if you're trying to fake stuff. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's fake, but... It just seems like a lot of things are lining up here for me. Anyway, the reason the reason I wanted to go back is because I wanted to see when they died, which is 1876, because he keeps saying, like, smile for the camera, pose for the photo, and I'm like, do they even know what a camera is, you know? Okay, I'm reading up on cameras right now. Interestingly, um, in 1876, cameras were almost exclusively used by professionals, and they weren't brought into the, the consumer world until 1888 with the Kodak Number no. One camera. So, I just find it—it's it, an interesting detail to me, you know. And I'm, I know I'm realizing I'm taking this like way too far, but it's an interesting detail to me that these girls just—they you know, completely understand what he means by by camera, and they know that the phone that he's carrying, that he's taking photos with, right, is is what he means by camera. Two misty apparitions that look like little girls appear in one of Ian's pictures, sitting right next to what he believes. Is their own See, there's, there's the wrong dates again. So is old abandoned Vicksburg Cemetery truly haunted? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. I'm on my way right now. I'm on my way right now. Thanks so much, Nuke, for another banger video. Now, apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Well, I, I, I'm shocked at how many of these videos, uh, these clips and stuff that they'll show where the, the, the investigator knows the history of the house, just like a random house that they're going into. How big is this family? Holy crap. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home, and most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. So you know, so you know that, but you don't know what it was. It's just a mysterious tragedy where a bunch of people died. But we know that they died in this house, and we know that their last name was Hernandez. We know some details about them, but we don't know the main thing that would make the whole story interesting. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. But they don't know what happened. Ricky and Liz right. head up to the second floor. And that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. Sounds like, that sounded like a sneeze, dude. <laughs> that sounded like a sneeze. No. <laughs> <That's you. laughs> yeah, the the squatter that was trying to keep quiet while you guys are milling around there is just took a sneeze, dude. I love I love the crucifixes here. They love to show these type of things in these clips and everything to be like, oh look, religious symbols, you know. Uh, this place is definitely haunted. Baby. Baby, you talk to it. Hola. <laughs> Great job. Hola. If that doesn't get them talking, I don't know what will. 
Maybe they'll do more than sneeze at you. Sorry, what was that? Oh, that's it. Okay, well, first of all, the, the sound is boosted here. I mean, that was just a, a sound. For all I know, one of y'all made that sound. The, you, you can tell that the audio was boosted up a lot there because the crickets got a lot louder, right? Same. Th these are really small sounds. Is there an animal in there with y'all? The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor. Banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. Wait, that was from the top floor? Well, I didn't really get that from the camera movements you would think if they were f coming from above that they would move the camera up to show that right so now in an attempt to make contact with the dead okay. ricky and liz decide to use a ouija board all right here we and go and as you might have guessed Adios. it did not go well of course During the not. ouija board session the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house then something happens that absolutely scares the sh out of them. Estás aquí con nosotros? Is the ghost stoned? Yeah. Ah. 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 Okay, so you got someone back there, huh? I love how, can I just say, I love how set up this is. Like, first of all, the, the footage like slows down there. I, that's kind of weird. There's like a stutter right here. Right here. I don't know what that's about. But I love that there's only clothes in this section. Just enough to cover up someone hiding in the corner. This is how many shirts, like six shirts. It's so they could, it's because this shot was planned. <laughs> And also, I mean, if if I saw something like that, he reacts extremely slow to this. Watch this. I mean, you've already seen it, but what? Like, watch his mo how slow he moves here. It takes them a full like five seconds to get out of the room. While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, "Are you here with us?" To which a terrifying little voice replies. Yes. <laughs> Perfect reenactment, Nuke. A plus. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. Yeah, of their friend. Is it fair to say, I'm not really even sure if it's a deathly pale face. I think it might just be a face. And sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. That's no way to talk about your friend. Their friend's probably watching this like, Deathly pale? Excuse you. Look, look, look how they don't look pale here. The lighting's completely different. YouTube. So whether it's real or not... So why is that? Why is why is the lighting so different? Like you got you got warm colors all here. All this was broadcast live on YouTube. And then it's completely so like they don't look pale here at all, right? Whether it's real or but then for the clip where they need someone to look pale, all of a sudden we got the pale lighting. Whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very creepy. But if you want to take I mean, a look at the video for your the the thing is, I I disagree with that. I disagree with that statement. Whether it's real or fake. It's still creepy. No, no. If it's fake, it's not creepy. Because if it's fake, it's just people messing around. There's nothing creepy about that. I guess the only I guess the only thing creepy about that is the links that people will go to to fake stuff like this. But no, I disagree. It's only creepy if it's real. <laughs> this time I was emailed about a very old video without a source that's been making the rounds on social media. In the been making the rounds. <laughs> Let's see this. It's a, a viral video. A group of friends are camping in the middle of the forest. Late into the night, they start to hear strange sounds coming from the dark woods. Right. Now, in what is probably a terrible decision, they decide to grab their flashlights and go to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. Mm -hmm. What is this footage? What is this footage? How old is this? 
can't see anything. Oh, gosh. If it's just we see like a shadowy figure in the distance for like a second, I'm gonna lose it. You hear those twigs snap? I'm getting bored. Oh, what? <laughs> the Darth Sidious over here hanging out in the woods, huh? As they search for the source of the creepy sounds, the group spots what appears to be some kind of creature with glowing eyes hiding in the tree line. Mm -hmm. Shocked online viewers have pointed out that even with the potato quality old video, you can still see that the strange unidentified creature actually appears to blink before it runs off into the woods adding just a tiny bit more credibility to this very odd footage. And why would it add more credibility that their friend, who they're getting to pose in a hood out in the middle of nowhere, blinks? He's human, isn't he? But why well, uh, the creature blinks, so it must be real. This adds more credibility to it, huh? Am I missing the logic there? Without a source, once again, we'll never know the full story on this old video. So is it real or just an elaborate hoax? It's not really an elaborate hoax. I mean, that could be just somebody in a Halloween costume. The, the First of all, the potato quality of the video is like number one red flag. Number two red flag, um, it's in black and white. So like we can't see any colors or anything because for all we know, like the glowing eyes are like cartoonishly red or green from some sort of party store mask, right? Uh, so then it's black and white so you can't see stuff like that. So it looks, you know, more legitimate. Like it's just, oh, they're naturally glowing eyes. Because if it, you know, if it was uh, color footage uh, and we saw it was just like, well, you know, the eyes are cartoonishly orange. It looks like... You know, something that you would, it might be more easily identifiable as something you would buy at like Party City. There's too, there's too many red flags here for me to be like, oh shit, it's real. Or just an elaborate hoax. I wouldn't say elaborate, Nuke. You always say elaborate. They don't need to work that hard. They just found a horrible camera. They got their friend to pose in some Halloween costume. And uh, yeah, they made sure that you couldn't see shit. <laughs> Now, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I've featured a ton of Saudi door kicking ghost hunters. These oh, oh, everybody tells me about the Saudi ghost hunters. I, I, this is actually my first time watching them. They, they, uh, so people have told me like, John, you gotta watch the Saudi ghost hunters because whenever they hear something fishy, they like kick the door down, they run straight at it. They're just like, Let's go, let's go. They they, they they play it Rambo style. So I'm really excited to see these guys. They sound fun. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saudi ghost hunters I've featured, then here's a quick tutorial. Okay. Number one, they love hunting gins. Okay. Ya gin. Ya gin. Number two. I like these guys the already. Gins often seem to throw large objects at them. Then finally, cool. number three, and most important of all, Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Kick it. <laughs> That's awesome. It stops. It stops right before the kick. I now, can't recently, I was sent a video that reveals something new and absolutely 
terrifying. Okay, thank you for everybody who's been who's been wanting me to check out the Saudi Ghost Hunters because you, I was worried that maybe you guys were bigging them up too much about like, oh, you guys, you, John, you would love them. No, you were right. That was so funny. I love I love the action heavy clips, and those are these are action heavy. I love their energy. <laughs> Oh, come on. You can kick better than that. Kick it, yeah! That's oh, right. Man. Apparently, these spooky doors are fighting back now. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. If you're a door kicking Saudi ghost hunter or you just aspire to be one, you be careful out there. Come on, kick it down. Oh. Oh, that's great. I don't even want to like, I don't even want to spend time debunking it or anything. They, fa they found a shtick that works for them, right? Like, it's really cool. It's, you know, they got, they got some kind of, I don't know if it's like fishing line or, you know, just somebody physically moving the door behind. You would think like, some of these doors have like little gaps. So you would think if there was somebody behind physically moving it, <laughs> that you'd be able to see it through the gap. <laughs> Like, like there, but I mean, I guess, it, I guess it's pretty thin. However, they're doing it. They're getting a lot of mileage out of it. Uh, one thing I've noticed in all of these clips is that the door moves for a bit and then there's a bit where it's still, and then the door gets kicked down. It, it, it doesn't seem to get really get kicked uh, when it's in the middle of moving. And if uh, I think that's maybe what happened here, although the, the POV was really close. So it's hard to tell. But then like, see, there's a lot of, there's a long period of inactivity here before the final kick. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. They weren't done. Yeah, because it pushed back here. There's the final kick. Right? Now we're like, what, who's in the rest of the room, right? I don't know, man, I don't even, I don't even want to spend time like being like, how could they have done it? Cause, you know, Cause there's a million different ways that you can do something like this, but it is very entertaining. So I like that. We, we, you know, we have fun here. We have fun. You know, see like, I, I, I would love to see more stuff like that. I would love to see more action packed clips. That's why I need, I'm so tired of these ones where, where there's so many clips I see where just like nothing happens or like there's there's a spooky sound but it's just clearly overlaid on the clip or something I need I need action I need doors getting kicked down that's exactly what I need I love that